Chaos magic is known for its rejection of hierarchical structures and dogmatic beliefs. Yet it gave rise to the magical organization, the Illuminates of Thanateros. Is this a paradox? Can chaos be institutionalized? What is the history and structure of this system? Don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm Dr. Angela Puka and welcome to my symposium. I'm a PhD and a university lecturer. And this is your online resource for the academic study of magic, paganism, shamanism, esotericism and all things occult. Thanks to a new research output by Dr. Bernd Christian Otto, who you may remember from a past interview here on the channel, we have new academic scholarship on chaos magic. And indeed, this study will be the source of today's video, tackling the IOT. Considering the philosophical system underpinning chaos magic, the foundation of the IOT was more the exception than the rule. A loose network like the Temple of Psychic Youth could be seen as more suited to the ideological inclination of this magical tradition. Just like the other common social organizations formed within the chaos magic milieu of the 1970s and 1980s. It is commonly believed that Chaos Magic was born in 1978 with the publication of Liber Null by Peter J. Carroll and the Book of Results by Ray Shervin. However, at that time, the conversation had already been going for some time, as demonstrated by the first appearance of Shervin's journal The New Equinox in 1976 a clear echo of Aleister Crowley's The Equinox, founded in 1909. In 1976 and 1977, Carol and Shervin had already declared in The New Equinox the foundation of a new order focused on the practice of magic and called the Illuminates of Thanateros. Thanateros Carol explained in his Liber Null, takes its name from the god of sex, Eros, and the god of death, Thanatos. So the birth of chaos magic in a way coincides with the birth of the IoT, even though the organization became really active in 1986. It's also key to highlight that chaos magic has always been much broader than the IoT and only a small number of chaos magicians were and are members of it. As Otto explains, when reconstructing the history of the IoT, we only have primary sources at the moment, meaning documentation produced by the community and hardly any historical study to verify the accuracy of the information. Indeed, an outline of the history of the order is offered in a document entitled The Secrets of the Illuminates of Thanateros, also called The Book, available in two different versions, 2002 and 2014. According to the 2002 version, which is accepted by all sections and all pact members as valid, the IoT was, soon after its foundation in 1976-1977, rarely more than a loose correspondence network and a few people meeting for rituals in East Morton. It was only in the mid-1980s that the IoT turned into a fully operating order with regular group rituals and occasional meetings at different places, seeing short-term group formations and dissolutions. Peter Carroll, also known as Frater Stochasticos in the IoT, established a temple in Bristol in 1982, the Bristol Chaos Temple, or Kabbal Heraclitus, 
which remained operative until Carroll's resignation. If we exclude another small, short-lived group with approximately 8 to 14 members, the Circle of Chaos in 1984 or 1987, the IoT as we know it today could be said to have started as a result of a public seminar in bonn Ramsdorf held by Peter Carroll and a German practitioner called Ralph Tengtmeier in 1986. This seminar saw different tests being performed and the practitioners who were able to pass got invited to a mass of chaos where a new magical order was attested to have formed. This event is also called the founding of the pact or just the pact. In the official IOT calendar, 1986 is thus the year zero. The reformation of the now renamed Magical Pact of the Illuminates of Thanateros was announced in another manifesto called the Pact Liber Pactionis, which was published in August 1987 in the journal Chaos International. The same event led to the formation of a UK section, the UK Pact Temple, which was in London, along with the formation of a German-speaking section that included at the same time Germany, Austria and Switzerland. The first World Pact meeting was held in Austria in August 1987, and 25 new members were initiated. These meetings have been held ever since, and the 28th AGM was held in Germany in 2014. In the years following 1986, various independent national sections or satrapies, as they were called, were founded in different places, such as in Bulgaria, Brazil, Denmark, Holland. So was the IoT trying to institutionalize the religious individualization so dear to chaos magic as a whole? Not quite. As the order aimed to be, one, anti-hierarchical, two, anti-dogmatic, and three, anti-secret. Concerning the first issue, the IoT attempted to overcome power imbalances thanks to the institution of the insubordinate. The IoT is comprised of four standard degrees, neophyte, initiate, adept, and magus, and a range of other offices. Interesting to notice that in the IoT, they claim that rising within the hierarchy is based on the mastery of magic and endorsing in a way a kind of magical meritocracy. Even though each IoT section or group was encouraged to operate freely, independently and creatively, to mirror the ethos of chaos magic, there were still standardized practices for individual and group rituals. Especially for the first degree, the neophyte, there was a summary of basic techniques provided in the Liber MMM, part of Carol's Liber Null. As I explained in a previous video, and here by Otto, <laughs> the book includes instructions on mind control, visualization techniques, sigil magic, dream control, and divination. As for group rituals, some instructions are presented in Carol's Psychonote, including the five rites of chaos, with the mass of chaos being described as the most important. The group ritual here described is aimed at raising a particular manifestation of energy for inspiration, divination, or communion with particular domains of consciousness, as well as to modify physical reality. This would consist of six steps revolving around group invocations of chaos, here understood as an entity, and Baphomet, here understood as the representation of the terrestrial life current. The purpose of having a structured group activity in an individually tailored system such as that of chaos magic is to generate more power than individual efforts might achieve. 
That said, Peter Carroll always encouraged to experiment, be creative and research oriented when engaging with group rituals, rather than being rigidly adherent to a fixed model. In this sense, we can see that despite the tendencies of ritual standardization within the IoT, the experimental, creative and individualistic approach still appears to prevail. And indeed, it is precisely the anti-hierarchical, anti-dogmatic, individualist and experimental agenda of the IoT, which may have led to the schism in the early 1990s. After all, as Urban highlights, an organized movement of chaos magic is inherently contradictory and could only logically end by dismantling itself in its own act of total liberation. Around 1986, Ray Shervin already resigned from the Order by excommunicating himself as he felt that the Order was slipping into the power structure that he had intended to avoid. Peter Carroll also backed out from the IoT shortly after the Ice Magic War, so it was only in 2016 that he publicly announced withdrawal of support for the organization. We might perhaps dedicate a future video to the IoT major schism known as the Eyes Magic War. Well, if you let me know in the comments that you are interested, that is. This is it for today's video. Thank you for staying with me up until this point. This project can really only exist thanks to your help. So if you like my content and want me to keep the academic fund going, please consider supporting my work with a one-time PayPal donation by joining memberships or my inner symposium on Patreon, where you will get access to our Discord server, monthly lectures and lots of other perks depending on your chosen tier. And if you did like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell so that you will never miss a new upload from me, and uh, let me know in the comments what you think, and share this video with your friends, of course, <laughs> so that uh, you can really help uh, this project grow. And as always, stay tuned for all the academic fun. Bye for now. <laughs>